that's correct. Um, so we do have around 4,000 cricket clubs in Australia. Um, and I know personally, you know, it can be hard to find the right club for you and the right fit for you. Um, you know, many factors come into it, I guess, such as, um, you know, proximity from your home to ensure that you, you can get to training and those sorts of things. Um, but more importantly, I think it's to do with the environment in which, you know, you may be seeking. Um, so I think that plays a crucial role in, you know, finding, you know, the perfect club as such for you. Um, the best place I would recommend to, you know, anyone thinking of playing cricket would be to visit playcricket.com.au. Um, and, you know, within this webpage, there are sections, you know, that you can list um, information about yourself, um, such as, you know, your postcode and suburb and age. Um, and essentially this, this intel um, allows us to sort of pass through all of the available clubs to you and that are sort of located around you. Um, the other thing that this information sort of tells us about yourself is, um, you know, it obviously stems through um, to a, I guess it gives you a map essentially of all the clubs available to you on the screen. Um, and, you know, it's, I guess it's there to ensure that cricket's easily accessible to you. So all of the um, local clubs that, you know, are around your home will come up. Um, and then the next, the next part of it is, you know, once you select the best club that's, you know, the right fit for you, um, in terms of proximity, there'll be all the contact details listed there. Um, and there'll also be a section where you can click register. Um, but what I think is really cool about this page is that the contact details are really important. So it gives you a key person in the club to speak with. Um, and that way you can just get a feel for the club and, and have a chat to them about what you're seeking and, um, you know, if it, if it is going to be the right club for you. Um, we're definitely going to see a different summer of cricket, that's for sure, um, in terms of how we play the game within community cricket and then, you know, in high performance cricket, how we travel, where we play and living in hubs, essentially. Um, I think a fantastic example at the moment that Cricket Australia have been able to deliver is the Women's Big Bash in Sydney currently. Um, so you'd see that all the teams are living in Sydney Olympic Park um, and all staying essentially across two hotels in, in a hub, essentially. Um, and, you know, this is certainly a unique situation. However, I think, you know, the way it's been carried out and delivered has been pretty excellent. And we've seen some fantastic results, um, you know, with the girls and, and how they've been going. Um, I think major changes in the game of cricket moving forward, certainly for this summer, is going to be the fact that um, from a high performance level, um, so, you know, talking about athletes like Ashton, you know, they'll get, they'll have to get used to living in the hubs, um, potentially, um, and that, that may go on for some time. Um, and we all know that's, that's quite a different environment to what everyday life is like. Um, and then secondly, from a community cricket perspective, the changes um, we will see in the game are through our local clubs and competitions, um, needing to ensure they are COVID safe venues, um, ensuring the ball is sanitised within the games, um, ensuring spectators are socially distanced, um, and also too, just ensuring that our players um, are aware of these small changes, so such as bringing your own lunch and drinks to games, which is, you know, maybe quite different. Um, there's also, I guess there's quite a lot of information to um, absorb within these COVID measures um, that we're now faced with. And I guess in saying that, I would direct anyone who needs to gain an understanding or learn more about what their club needs or understand as a volunteer or player what role you have in ensuring that we're COVID um, safe would be to visit the community cricket website. Um, because in, in this section, we have a whole piece on COVID-19 with guidelines on returning to training or playing. Um, and look, I, I believe they're really, really valuable and, and a great resor uh, resource to share with your clubs. Um, and I guess to finish on this question, in terms of what does the future of Australian cricket look like in Australia and worldwide post-COVID, um, it's probably a really tough question to answer um, because, you know, four weeks ago here in Melbourne, we were unsure if we would start a season or, or have a season. Um, and then obviously what's going on in the broader world with, you know, countries in lockdown, it's a, it's a really tough place to make a call on what 2021 will bring. Um, but look, I guess what I can say to that question is that um, there have already been so many learnings out of this challenging period, um, such as understanding how important technology will be 
um, when it comes to communicating with our clubs and then clubs being able to communicate with their players and volunteers. Um, and we've also had the ability in this time to update many, many resources for clubs and associations, which are extremely helpful in terms of clubs and volunteers understanding how to run their club, how to engage volunteers, and essentially to ensure that cricket is delivered in a positive way um, within their community. Um, so yeah, to summarise, look, I think that Australian cricket's in a really good spot um, and we're really excited for the, the summer of cricket ahead.